Well, it ain't no fun. Yeah, good night, folks. Shaggy sheepdogs today. Breakfast is this hound's favorite meal of the day. If you throw me a bone, I'll chew the fat away. Breakfast, so it could be someone on a breakfast radio show or has been a breakfast radio mm. show or TV show. I've kept my iconic coat through the years and ran to the beat of my own drum on New Frontiers. They say make hay while the sun is shining, but it's always sunny on my farm. I'm a happy boy. Tonight I'm digging deep to release my inner treasures. Every now and then I get a little <laughs> bit lonely and you're never coming round. Every now and then That's I get not the voice I expected like to come out. Listening to the sound of my tears. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then I see the look in your eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. Oh, and I need you now. Yes, sweet dog. And I need you more than ever. Look at her, Miss Miller. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. Oh, oh man, that performance though. Shaggy Sheepdog, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I'm unsure what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't that. Sharon, how about you? I feel like this person is definitely a broadcaster of some form and has at some point in their career been a broadcaster in the morning. Maybe Mike Hosking from ZB. Wow. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's laughing. Mike could never. Mike could never hit those notes. Well, <laughs> hey, you know, we've never heard him sing, have we? And the only thing that threw me off is he's wearing red bands and not Gucci loafers. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's your only thing. Good that, luck. Mm -hmm. Anika, that is the most confused you have looked since you've been here. Oh, no, there's been more confusion. That, um, OK, no. Uh, <laughs> I have the clue the sun is shining, but it's always sunny on my farm. He also had a sidekick called Thingy. Remember? I do remember Thingy. Hi, everybody. My name's Thingy. So my guess is you are the lovely, entertaining, wonderful, beautiful and amazing Jason Gunn. Aww. Hey, that's not a bad shout. I love you, Jason! Okay, James, how are we going? Are we going to lock something in or would sniffing his butt help? Um, <laughs> I, I do it, do <laughs> it, do <laughs> it, do it! What a weird thing to bully him into. Hey, go sniff that dog's butt real quick. Uh, the clues that I'm going to hone in on is Inner Treasures. So I thought that maybe you could be someone that had been on Celebrity Treasure Island. Also, Breakfast is the other one. And the, t the person that I know that did Treasure Island and also did Breakfast on the Edge was uh, Chris Parker. And also, oh. tonally, you kind of sound like him too. He's in the same vocal register. So I'm going to go with my boy, Chris Parker. <laughs> cool. See? We got there. Timmy Nielsen, not everyone can get up that high with those high notes. Right? I was super impressed yeah. with the range of our sheepdog here. Like, that is not an easy song to sing. And you were nailing those high notes. Yeah. Like, props. Yeah. Props. 
That's a brave song choice as well. It's very brave. You know, it might be delusional, but I'm going to stick with my delusion of, of hope that it's Jason Mamoa. <laughs> Right? Yeah, you go, girl. All right, guys. It seems like you might need one. Let's get one more clue from our shaggy sheepdog. I am no sellout. Or am I? No sellout. So maybe someone sold out an arena? Sold out the box office? Jason Jason Momoa. Momoa. (laughs) All right, well, who's the human behind this hairy hound? We won't know until the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our shaggy sheepdog. Woo! Down the tunnel you go, sir. Our panel think that Shaggy Sheepdog could be one of these four celebrities. Who do you think's behind the mask? I may not be Scooby-Doo, but I'm still a mystery to you. It's not the first time my paws have touched the stage. I was once dubbed the top dog in town. These clues are real doggy. Here's a dog. Oh, yeah. Um... (laughs) But times have changed. I've left those days behind. There's someone who's retired at what they were doing originally. The dog has spent much of his time paddling in the waves of Tikapa Moana. But that's not the only sea I've made a splash in. Despite my appearance, I don't spend much time on the farm at all. I'm much more comfortable in the conference room. And while I may be man to be his friend, I sure have barked up a few trees in my time. Sheepdog, you are full of surprises. And you definitely had Sharon panting. Uh, oh, I saw you. Goodness. Can I just point out as well, we heard a lot of man-made inventions, but um, the life raft, the dishwasher, and the car heater, all invented by a woman. Just want to point that out. Yeah. 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 Last time I thought you were Mike Hosking from News Talk ZB. And then <laughs> I look at these clues that said that I was once the top dog and those times have changed, which makes me think maybe you are Mike Hosking because he was beaten in the ratings by my FM. So Ooh. I think you're Mike Hosking. <laughs> <laughs> Anika, are we going with our original guests or are we changing it up now? Uh, I'm... Ooh. I really, with all my heart, believe that this person is Jason Gunn. Yeah, I think that's a good shout. All right, James, it seems like you like it. Yeah. Or are you going with something different? 
my guess was uh, Chris Parker, but I actually don't, I don't think that's you, Chris, in there. First of all, you're not tall enough to be Chris Parker. I'm not comfortable on the farm. I'm more of a city guy, like more comfortable in the conference room. So I thought maybe you're Mike Puru. Yes, sir. Woo! And because you are uh, co-host on Flavor. Weekdays, Monday to Friday, 6 till 10 a.m. <laughs> Get that plug in, girl. Timmy Nielsen. How about the vocal on Shaggy Sheepdog? His range is really high. Even I was kind of humming along going, woohoo, those are some notes. Yeah, some of them only dogs can hear. Yes! <laughs> there you go, you got one. Thank you, thanks, Sharon. No, I think I'm going to have to agree with Anika on this one. I think no. Jason Gunn or Mama. Oh, either Jason. Oh. Yeah. Either of the two Jasons. Well, guys, we need a detective here stat. It is time for two truths and one lie. Shaggy Sheepdog, give us your first clue. I have a young pup of my own. Your own. So it could be a puppy or a child. That's true. Second clue. I am married to a sports star. Married Ooh. to a sports star? And your final clue, but is it true? I am an award yeah. winner. That could be Hosking or Jason Gunn. True. Mm. Has Mike Puru won any awards, do you know? Heaps. Yeah, heaps. radio awards. All right, think you know who it is? Or are you barking up the wrong tree? We'll only find out when that mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our shaggy sheepdog. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. Get out of it! <laughs> so guys, is this the cream of the crop? Whose face do you think is behind the fur? Nice try, folks. But I've got you rounded up just where I want ya. Why did this doggo join the masked singer? Well, I'm the master of disguise, you see. They say a man's best friend, and if it's true, I've made some extraordinary mates over the years, and not all were adults. TV Kids presenter. While I love frolicking in the rolling meadows, rock's my real terrain. Yeah, this farm dog's a bit of a dag. And if you've got a button to push, push it, I will. Obviously, it pushes people's buttons, or like, rubs people the wrong way. Tonight, I'm looking to mark chaos into the theatre. So, put your paws in the air. It's about to get hot in here. Put your loving hand out, baby. Cause I'm begging. Can I get you a, uh, a bowl of water or anything? <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll, I'll sort that out. Oh, Sharon, how, how does it go? I'm trying to get a chant going. Mm -hmm. um, no. Well, everyone's going, hoo, hoo, but I think it needs the hands. It needs to be like, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> what do you think? Good? 
I just wanted to see you embarrass yourself again. Oh, like you are in that waistcoat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro, Clint, Clint, when will you learn? She always brings you back. <laughs> On okay. with your job. Here's my guess. So I got to the master of disguise clue and I thought, could this be somebody that does drag? Because they get dressed up in their amazing costumes and makeup. So my guess is drag race winner, Ketamine. And Nico, Shaggy Sheepdog seems to be one of the hardest to pin down. You guys have been jumping around all over the place. I haven't been, actually. I've been stuck on my one firm guess of Jason Garth. Oh. But, oh. But, but we're about to change. Spoiler alert, I am going to change my guess. One person I'm thinking of that's quite quirky, comedic, he also has a dog, kind of looks like that. <laughs> so I'm actually changing my guess to Matt Heath from Matt and Jerry, uh, their breakfast oh, yeah. ho-ducky show. <laughs> Wasn't he the singer of Deja Voodoo? Yeah. So he was a rock was singer? Oh, he was. Oh, there you go. I don't, know, it was I, don't in even, the I don't really read the clues, so I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that does and respects them a lot is our James. That's true. The clues, remember everyone, the clues are all we have. I've been quite stuck with you, Shaggy Sheepdog, if I'm being honest, but I'm, I've been obsessing with these clues. I've been trying to piece them together. You, someone who pushes buttons and someone who barks chaos. So I thought maybe you, you could be Mark Richardson because he, you know, pushes buttons of people, like he rubs people the wrong way. He's barking chaos on the block. You know, he's always like shouting at everyone, tools down. Yeah. But then I heard you sing and I saw you move and I was like, there's no way Mark Richardson sounds like that or moves like that. No offense, Mark, but you know it. But then I was like, okay, what are the other clues? Had other friends that not always adults, maybe the kids TV. It's getting hot in here. Maybe there were weathermen. So I think you're actually Sam Wallace, who used to do the weather and now does radio and used to host Sticky TV. <laughs> Sam Wallace. Now, for finger, I feel like I know what you're going to say already, but I could be wrong. I think you are wrong. <laughs> because I, I'm thinking of a couple of people. The first one, is I think it could be a famous All Black. One of the clues is, you know, put your paws in the air, like, you know, in the haka at the end, when they go he, you know, because it's getting hot in here, you know, getting ready for the heat of battle. Ooh. So I thought maybe it could be Richie McCaw, oh. or could be the one and only David Tua. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants another clue out of you for? I, I think we don't need another clue. It's clearly David Tua. All right, here we go. I'm an Australian sheepdog, but I have an addiction to the didgeridoo. Maybe it's an all black that has a side hustle as a didgeridoo player. Kieran Ree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, what do you think? Does this old dog have any new tricks to show us? We'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Shaggy Sheepdog. <laughs> Has the panel sniffed out the star inside this shaggy sheepdog? Or are they still chasing their tails? Who do you think is behind the mask? You all seem a little sheepish. Are you sure you've got it right? That means shaggy sheepdog and bedazzled unicorn, it is up to the panel to decide which one of you will be unmasked. How did this happen? I blame the audience. Well, they did vote, so yeah, it is yeah. their fault. <laughs> All right, guys, now is where the power shifts over to you guys. Which one will be remaining in the competition and whose mask will be coming off tonight? Sharon, I'm going to make you do it. I need a name. Who are we saving? Mm. OK, this is tough for us because we really love both of these people, characters, it wasn't animals. wasn't tough for me. Yeah, it wasn't tough for Nika, though. No offense. But I talked to my fellow judges and we have decided we're going to save. Bedazzled Unicorn. Congratulations, Bedazzled Unicorn. Let's hear it one more time. As she heads off down the tunnel, we will see her on The Masked Singer again. Man, which means... <laughs> Shaggy Sheepdog, you have been dealt a rough hand. Aww. Sorry, I shouldn't be joking at a time like this. 
your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. And very shortly, you will be unmasked. But first, before we do that, we always go to the panel to see if they actually know who you are. You get one more proper, legit, real guess. Mm, okay. First of all, can I say hormate to Pakapaki for this, this sheep dog? Because yeah. that is a very, looks like a very hard costume to wear. It looks very, very hot. So you've done extremely well. I am going to guess that you are... I'm going to stick with Ketamine, the drag queen. Anika, we're playing for points. Who is it? <sighs> okay, I'll just have to stick with Jason Gunn. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's you, Jace, I love you. If it's not you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, I know you take this seriously. You're quite a competitive guy. I do. I think, I think the clues were too clear to not go with my actual guest today. I do think I want to lock in Sam Wallace. Yeah. And, Fofinga, you could come on the show and just absolutely steal it with this guest. I know that I've stayed with who I felt was the actual, you know, but I think it's John Key. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a big pivot from uh, David Tua. Yeah, you? John <laughs> Key. OK, all right. We're going to lock those votes in. Four completely different guesses. You think, being experts, that'll be on the same page. <laughs> Alas, it is time to find out the identity, finally, of our masked singer. I'm so excited about this. Here we go, guys. It's time to take it off. Close. I was not close at all. I was like, Sam the Weatherman. Disappointed. How did I not know no, you're No, how did you not know? I know. Like, your goodness. sultry tones. Yeah. You're yeah. such a good singer. How, how did you get away with it? <laughs> Disguise. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 just masks. You know, I love masks. So, and singing. <laughs> people at home who know you from the band Push Push would have recognised the voice. Even the old people, yeah. 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 <laughs> Also, you're thinking Nika might, because Nika, how long ago did we do some recording together? Oh, like two years ago. Last but, year, I think it might have been last year. But still, I know your voice. Like, how, you disguised it though really well. Yeah, did well. you change your voice a little bit? A little or? bit. A little bit. Okay. Some no, a little bit? A lot. Little bit. I mean, like the James Brown one, that just is pure me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it makes so much sense now, now that I can yeah. see your face, the Maniskin and song especially, it sounds exactly like you. Oh, how did we not Clever. get this? Well played, Mikey. Very well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Good game, good game. All right. Good game. Well, this is, I know I said taking off is my favourite part, but also this is my favourite part. You're going to perform for us one more time, maskless. <laughs> Great. Great, I'll take this. <laughs> cool. Mikey Havoc as Shaggy Sheepdog, everybody. Let's hear it. Well, I was way off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put your love in hand. Just let me go I'm on my knees when I'm begging Cause I don't want to lose you